So good evening, everyone, and welcome to today's e Antrik session. So nice to connect with all of you again, and I have two wonderful e Antriks with me, Soham and Pratik. So before we get to speak to them and know about their side of story, I'm sure you all have registered for e Antrik. E Antra Robotics Competition, which is the flagship competition of E Antra. In case you haven't, then please do so. The last date for registration is 25th of August. So, uh, I think the most interesting thing about uh, E Antra Robotics Competition is that uh, you uh, not only compete, but you get to learn from students across the world. You know, so it's an international competition. Also. Uh, there is so much to learn, so much to explore, so much to discover. Uh, all the themes this time are hardware based and uh, uh, you will be able to, uh, you know, explore uh, knowing so many students, so many people from across the world. And this time the competition is open to everyone, you know, so you may be from any field, you can basically apply as long as you want to learn. So with that, uh, I would like to quote uh, Steve Jobs, who says that uh, learn continually. There's always one more thing to learn. So in that spirit, let me invite Sohan to share with us that why should one apply for EYRC or what is uh, you know the benefit of applying for EYRC, which is the robotics competition and can I apply even if I don't know anything for this competition? Soham, over to you. Soham, you're on mute. Oh, sorry. Yeah, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Soham uh, and I'm a student of mechatronics at Manipa. So the question you ask, can anyone apply for Yantra? The answer to that is yes, anyone can apply. I remember when I applied for this, uh, I didn't know any of the software stacks required for my theme, which was Strawberry Stacker. The tasks in the theme were set in such a way that they actually introduced us to each software stack and uh, helped us learn along the way. So uh, even I was scared before uh, I participated that what if everyone around me has more knowledge than me, like will I be left out? But after the competition started, uh, I realized that uh, even the people at Yantra developed it in such a way that uh, uh, anyone who doesn't know can learn. So wonderful, Soham. So anybody who doesn't know anything can learn. You know, it's a step by step competition. You have various tasks, and I'm sure anybody can learn at Yantra Robotics competition. So, Soham, what has been the impact of this competition on you? Okay. So this competition stretches out for six months. Like it's not a three day hackathon or a two day hackathon. To, to stay dedicated for six months for a particular competition or any theme, I think that has been kind of a confidence boost for me that yes, I can stick at, uh, at a project for a stretch of six months and at the end complete it. I think that has been my biggest takeaway. And of course, I learned a lot of new technologies like software stacks, like ROS, and about drones. So, but my biggest takeaway has been knowing that I can sit at a project for six months and successfully complete it. Wow, wonderful. So thanks, thanks for sharing that. And uh, uh, before I apply, uh, uh, I invite uh, Pratik to share. I just want to quote uh, John Holt, who says that learning is not the product of teaching. Learning is the product of the activities of learners. And, uh, you know, somewhere EYRC allows us to do that. You know, it is, it is about uh, going through these tasks and learning uh, task by task, you know, and uh, actually doing it hands on. And uh, what is even better is that this year, all the themes are hardware based. So it's absolute application, you know, so obviously you have 
the soft and obviously the software and the hardware combination i think it's going to be so much of fun so prateek tell us about your story what has been the impact of this competition on you uh, am i audible yeah uh, prateek you're audible yeah so good evening everyone firstly i want to thank you the eantra team for inviting me to share my experiences of this wonderful journey to eantra my name is pratik kumar khuntia a pre final year undergraduate student from mechanical engineering uh, at national institute of technology raurkela uh, how can i describe eantra like uh, i don't feel like i can describe eantra merely through some english words because it has played a pretty big role in developing myself both technically and to many life skills like firstly i don't know i even don't know what cantra and that was one of the suggestions from one of my seniors or rather uh, he is one of my mentors in the field of robotics like he insisted me basically to take part in cantra to develop many skills both technical and non technical and uh, due to his advice only uh, i thought okay let's give it a shot and let's take part in it and when i go through those tech stacks i was pretty nervous at that time like i don't know what's ros i don't know what's image processing i don't know what's mathematical modeling like this sounded to me pretty intimidating at that time but somehow like i got the courage from the mentors and from my wonderful teammates okay let's give it a shot if everyone is participating why not we but yeah after that when i went through the process like the materials that the yantra team gave to us and that was quite beginner friendly because the the whole theme was divided into sub tasks and tasks that uh, one would have sweat over a particular thing for a, sorry, over I'm a period of time like, uh, your video has turned off can you turn it on uh okay it's due to network issue i guess okay. uh, go on yeah. go on sorry yeah so basically like the whole theme was divided into tasks and sub tasks like in agribot theme which was my theme that was a software theme in round 1 but in round 2 that was a that turned out to be the remote hardware theme basically that focused on navigation uh, perception and uh, arm manipulation and what eantra team did for us like they divided the whole theme into sub tasks so that a beginner like me like he or she will not face the problem in learning the tech stacks so basically building up step by step and not going too far ahead of ourselves like we hadn't thought of actually reaching the finals and winning the finals and grab the second runner up position like we only uh, we set small targets for us like okay task 1 is given to us we complete the task 1 that will be the first target and uh, this way only like we managed to learn many things again i will say both technical and non technical things like which i will obviously say in the session later later on and that was my one of the greatest experiences i would say of my life because i learned many new things and uh, even if uh, i didn't know before the competition the concepts of image processing what is pid what is navigation and applying it to a bot like agribot like that's a huge bot like i have seen in iit bombay so yeah that was a very good experience and obviously like if anyone doesn't know anything about robotics like no worries like eantra team will obviously help you out in that situation and obviously push you to yeah grab those things and apply in a bot like agribot or any other bot wow wonderful prateek it's so inspiring to hear it you know like uh, what you shared is actually what arthur clark uh, says that the only way to discover the limits of the possible is to go beyond them into the impossible i think the agribot theme itself was the first of its kind where uh, you had to remotely work you know on the hardware which was at iit bombay so uh, and pushing your limitations to go beyond and doing something i think it's wonderful you know so uh, let me go to soham and uh, i am very curious to know soham uh, because the benefit of uh, you know one of the benefits of eyrc is that uh, you get a chance to be eligible for the e antra internship which which you which happens after these competitions so can you tell us what has been the impact of this internship on you so you are on mute yeah okay before starting uh, i'd like to say that 
even though we were the finalists, uh, we actually uh, didn't do well in the finals. So we we thought that we wouldn't get this internship. We wouldn't like the team wouldn't call us. But to our surprise, all of us were called for the interview and we were selected. So now coming to EYSIP, which is the internship at IIT Bombay, I had never worked with a physical board before. Yes, I had worked it within simulations, but never built one like running board because of COVID year and me sitting at home. So at EYSIP, it was the first time I was actually building a board. And uh, over there, I learned so many new things. Uh, like learned about problems which you never face in a simulation. One of them, like a board not getting traction or some motors not working, then sourcing of the parts. Like I appreciate people who build actual stuff way more right now than uh, what I uh, did before. So. Wonderful. So I'm so it's it's so nice, you know, that uh, we kind of start appreciating things which we, you know, somewhere get it on a platter, right? I mean the. Uh, we 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 understand that you know how it has been done and all those things when you actually build it. So tell me, uh, how was it interacting with uh, uh, other students during the internship? Because you must have you know met students from across yeah. India during the internship. What were the kind of resources that you got? Uh, the exposure to them? Did you get to interact with uh, or actually learn from faculties at IIT? Did you attend any lectures? I, I did remember you telling me that you kind of sneaked into some lectures and, you know, get the knowledge that was being distributed. Yeah. There. So can you talk about that? Yes. The thing with IIT is that there are so many amazing people around you. Like, uh, just, you know, getting to see them with your own eyes is like, like, it's a big experience. Like, ask a Kavi, sir. Uh, he just randomly brings about how his uh, professor was a winner of the Turing Award and Sir is from Oxford. So just getting to see someone who is so established and uh, well uh, learned, that's experience of its own. And yes, uh, uh, like me and my friends at Iyantha did sneak into some uh, talks at IIT Bombay and um, like that was something I had not like I had attended talks, but that talk was of another level. Like, like she, she was beaming. Like she was the first uh, citizen who went to space. Like she wasn't an astronaut. She was like a tourist and she spoke about uh, her experiences traveling to space and coming back. And that inspired me in a separate way about how uh, like, she was from a village and how she went on to be a leader at such a big company and then go on to space and uh, the people at uh, EYSIP. Like I never knew, like I was at awe with them. Like they knew so much more stuff uh, compared to me. Like uh, there was, there were people who had so much knowledge prior, uh, like so much experience prior to me and uh, just looking at them, learning from them and no that was a very big thing. And uh, they are from all over India, right? So you get exposed to new cultures and how people think and what have their experiences been till now. So that was a very big thing for me. Wow, wonderful. So, so what I'm getting is that, uh, you know, when you work hard in Eantra robotics competition and uh, you you get a chance to be eligible for this uh, Eantra internship where you actually get to experience so much more and basically push your limitations, you know, go beyond your limitations and discover some new potential within, you know, which is which is what the internship also and it is also research based. So I'm sure, you know, all the nights that you all have uh, spent uh, figuring out solutions for your project, for your product that you were building must have been so amazing. So, uh, Pratik, uh, uh, 
I, I would like you to share about uh, the impact of this internship on you and uh, why students should work hard uh, during uh, EYRC uh, uh, to get to this internship. And I just want to quote Napoleon Hill who says that our only limitations are those we set up in our own minds. So uh, uh, how can we actually, uh, you know, not get limited and continue to challenge ourselves in the robotics competition uh can you share that Pratik? yeah sure like basically after around six to seven months of learning of the during the final even after uh, internships so is there internship? uh pratik sorry i think there's some uh issue pratik just one second i'll just go to soham there's some issue with your network uh, can you check that at your end? I'll just speak to Soham in the meanwhile. Okay, so Soham, can you tell us uh, uh, why students should work hard in EYRC and, you know, like not give up? So you mentioned that, you know, uh, uh, y'all, y'all, uh, you know, even though in the finals, it, it, uh, uh, it, it was not as per your expectation. The, but uh, you still had a chance to be eligible for the internship. So what would you like to tell students that, you know, because a lot of times you give up at stage one, stage two uh, of EYRC. So how actually at every stage you can learn by not just giving up and completing the task. Can you share about that? Yes. Uh, the first thing, if you complete a task, you are going to learn more. Like. All I'd like to say is just don't give up midway. I know things are going to get tough. You are going to have exams. We had exams, but this is where your time management skills and your teamwork and communication come into play, like divide the work within your teammates and uh, just complete the task. I may sound a bit snobbish uh, if I say it, but uh, the things you learn in a competition, especially like e Andra, I think that's way more than what we learn in our textbooks. So do complete the tasks which are given. And when you look back in the future, you would really appreciate it uh, knowing that, yes, I learned these things during the tasks. So. Okay, that's, that's wonderful. And uh... Uh, so, can you uh, uh, tell us about, uh, uh, like, what is the importance of, uh, you know, creating the right team uh, or rather, you know, if you can tell our, uh, you know, viewers about how to form a team in EYRC, you know, there are uh, students who are yet to register so that, you know, uh, they are uh, motivated to find right candidates and register for the competition. Okay. Uh when you're building a team the biggest thing you need you don't even require prior knowledge before the other team members should just be equally intrigued and excited to be a part of this competition as you are because uh, if you just randomly put along a team and other team members do not care then the workload on you is gonna increase very much in the future because others won't work you are the one who's interested so only you will be the one who ends up working. But if everyone's interested and equally dedicated, then you'll just breeze through the competition. That That's what I can tell you. Wonderful. So uh, Pratik, uh, are you there? Uh, I'm here. Yeah, okay. So Pratik, uh, can you tell us about uh, the impact of the internship on you? Yeah, is it uh, fine? Like I can uh, switch on my video due to the network issue. So is it fine? Yeah. Like I want to speak up. Okay, no problem. Prati. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, like intensive experience. Like it was a very good experience to be honest. Because first of all, like I got to visit IIT Bombay because that was one of my dreams. Secondly, like it was a very rigorous process. Like after six to seven months of UIRC. We even had to go to two to three interviews for the internship. And after cracking that internship, okay, that was quite worth it. Because beside IIT Bombay and beside the beauty of Mumbai, we got to explore the Eantra lab. Like, first of all, I took the photo of Agribot because 
uh, that was my uh, I would say my first aim to take the photo by Agribot because obviously that was our thing. Secondly, like the components, the machines, the workshop of IIT Bombay because I'm a mechanical student and uh, I would say my abode is workshop. So basically, these things are quite uh, amazing to explore. And secondly, working on robots and like our project, uh, one of my uh, I would say. Uh, my aim to work on that project because that was a new thing for me. I had work on differential board. I had actually assembled the board and work on the hardware thing. But for the holonomic part, like I was completely unaware of that. So basically, that was one of the main reasons to take up that project to explore the world of holonomic drives. And uh, I believe that was one of my very good decision because I got to learn many things. Uh, is there any drive such that holonomic drive that could reduce the task, uh, reduce the uh, time of completion of a task, the increase efficiency of doing a task, and many more things. And besides these technical things, I got to learn many things from the fellow interns all around India. The I would say how uh, basically the difference in culture, the difference in languages, the difference in food habits, and exploring them, trying out them. I mean that was a that was a very good experience and obviously like speaking into the technical insights of all those uh, interns out there basically some of them were fourth year some of them were third year and I was a second year so basically like exploring these domains uh, like all I mean spending nights together at IIT Bombay and uh, finding out solutions for each and every problems and obviously that was a very good experience and the mentors and the yantra staff they were quite helpful for us like. Even if you had a problem at the midnight, they wouldn't hesitate to solve that problem. Uh, like I would recall, uh, we ran into a problem in holonomic drive and uh, Sauravaya was there and that was around 2 a.m. in the morning. And uh, he hadn't hesitated for a second to solve that problem. So that was the, uh, what I can say, benefits or facilities that we got from Eantra or UISIP. So basically, uh, I would say, like after the journey of UIRC, if you are getting the chance of UISIP, basically there is no reward lesser than that because you will explore many things, both technical and non-technical, and obviously that will change one life. And basically, obviously that has changed my life in many aspects. Pratik, it's it's wonderful. You're saying, you're saying big words, yeah, changing life and all. Can you tell us how? Because viewers must be thinking how your life has changed. Can you tell us that? Yeah, sure. Basically, like uh, before EYSIP or be before EYRC, I was a shy guy. Like I hesitated to present myself before an audience or uh, I would basically hesitate to lead a team. But after the EYSIP experience or after EYRC, like what I'm finding is that I'm taking interest in leading teams. Like I'm taking on the roles. OK, I will lead this thing. I will do this task and I will obviously like uh, I like to present myself now. Because uh, presently, like I have already done a stage show in my college, like after one month of UISIP. So basically, that is, I believe, like the, the, the UISIP has changed my life in that way. And secondly, uh, the obviously the technical skills. Like I wasn't that good in robotics before UIRC, but yeah, that has obviously boosted my technical skills. But more than technical skills, I believe, like it has given me many more experiences, many more. Uh, life-changing experiences rather that has obviously boosted up my life skills like one of the thing i will point like to point out is the fear of failure or avoiding the fear of failure because during this journey there will be more failures than success but uh, one will learn how to handle the failure and how to learn from that failure and channelize that uh, disappointment to success basically that was the main thing like that i learned from both EYRC and EYSIP. And secondly, like don't shy away from challenges because uh, life is full of challenges and one must know how to basically cross these challenges to, I mean, reach the zenith of success. And thirdly, uh, like exploring things, learning new things on your own. Like we don't need to re uh, depend on professors, depend on classes to learn these things because we can learn at our own comfort. We can learn from research papers. Many things are there. and. Basically, yeah, that is also one of the life-changing experiences, I would say. Wow, Pratik, so, so profound. And I'm so glad that you had this impact uh, 
both because of EYRC and uh, the the reward of EYSIP that you got because of the work, hard work that you'd put in EYRC. So, did you also have any such experience? Yes, uh, exactly what Pratik said. The viewers must be wondering, like, uh, Pratik told such big words about changing the life, but I can assure you, it does impact you in a very big way. Like, more than the technical side, it will impact you in the soft skill side, which is really important. Uh, you like it as I said before, it's a six months long competition, and just knowing not to give up and achieving something after the that is going to help you in the future, and I can assure her that. Okay, that's that's wonderful. And uh, do you want to share a final message with any of the students who are still doubtful about whether to participate or not? whether my academics will suffer, whether I can endure for six months, it's so long, you know, whether I have the right teammates, you know, so there are so many questions that uh, students have before they start. So any last words that both of you want to share? So first I'll ask uh, Soham to share and then Pratik, you can go. Yes, uh, first I'd like to say that it's fine if you're uh, having this thought that would I be able to do it or not, but and will I be able to manage my time or not? What I tell you guys or suggest is that don't overthink about it right now. If you want to do it, just go for it. Like that's the best thing I can say. And what comes later, think about it later. But, but right now, do what you want to do. Wonderful. So, so I'm just saying that go about, go for it and don't think about it so much take it as it you know face the challenges as they yeah. come so Pratik what about you yeah I would also like to agree with Soham like you said right don't go I go ahead ourselves like we don't need to think of finals before actually crossing stage one we need to like focus on the present we need to focus on the present task uh, basically yeah Obviously, one participate to win in a competition. Like I would disagree with that, but that doesn't mean if one doesn't win the competition, that's all over. Because what we get after the competition is a bunch of learning, learnings, both technical and non-technical. Obviously, so basically, yeah, with the respect to team members, one should be wise enough to select such a team. Like the members will support uh, the team in any situation. Like I was fortunate enough to have such a team. Because we had many difficulties, we had to, like, our college reopened midway between the competition. And we had to ship the base from our home to the college. And obviously, the network issues and all, like, uh, the college classes timing. But we made our path through it, like, because of the supportive nature of my team members. And secondly, like, there must be the fire in the belly to fight it out. Because competitions are not that easy. The rewards are, uh, I mean, we can obviously sense the... Uh, competition like you are getting the reward of visiting IIT Bombay you are getting the cash prize obviously that won't be easy but there must be the that fighting spirit within each team member to fight it out don't actually get demoralized okay there will be failures there will be errors in the code I mean I remember nights spending uh, spending out to debug two to three lines of code and that too in the last uh, that too in the last task so basically that will happen but don't go too ahead of uh, yourself, like just focus on the present and keep it as simple as possible. Like don't take too much pressure, like I want to qualify, I want to win it. But just actually it's a stepwise competition and if you are crossing each step perfectly and efficient and obviously like you will reach that stage obviously at the end. So yeah, that will be my suggestion to the current uh, participants that were participating in EYRC. Wonderful, Pratik. Thanks. Uh, and Soham, thank you for sharing that. I think uh, I keep saying this every time during the Ian Trick session, but I'll state again that, you know, what Jackson Brown has said that nothing is more expensive than a missed opportunity. So EYRC is an opportunity to learn something new. It's an opportunity to discover. It's an opportunity to explore. And it's an opportunity to go beyond our limitations and discover something new about ourselves. Huh? 
So uh, let's not miss this opportunity. I'm sure a lot of you must have registered. So those who have not registered, please do register. Uh, the last date is 25th of August. So don't miss this opportunity to be part of the EYRC competition this year and also an opportunity to uh, be eligible for the internship and many more such things, you know, and this time it's also the hardware based themes. It's going to be very exciting, you know, the combo of software, hardware, it, 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 there's so much to learn, you know, and uh, you get to interact with uh, jury from the industry, from the, uh, you know, fact, IIT faculties, etc. So there's so much to learn. Yeah, there's nothing to lose. So let's uh, participate in the competition. Uh, I'll just uh, mention the link, uh, portal link for uh, everyone's convenience, which is www.portal.e-yantra.org. So you can go to this uh, portal and you can uh, get all the details about the competition. If you have any doubts, etc., you can also leave your query in the chat window. The Yantra team will get in touch with you. Uh, so thank you uh, so much, uh, Soham and Pratik, for uh, taking out your valuable time. I'm sure you must be having classes. Soham has exams. So um, a big thank you to uh, him for taking out time uh, to, you know, address queries. Uh, or like, you know, right, inspire students. And Pratik, thank you so much. Uh, and I would like to thank all the viewers of today's uh, eantric session. Uh, thank you for taking out time. Thank you in for tuning. Uh, so with this, uh, goodbye and uh, best of luck for your journey in EYRC. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.